Ooh, porcupine canopies. A prickly aperitif. Did I just... Oh, I kind of... Your Majesty. Guy Hardwood, how are you? Fiddle! Long time no see! Yes, it's been a while. Just telling Melvis here about my latest adventure. Four months in Patagonia. In South America. Discovered a lost world. It was well splendid. Yeah. Found this thing up a crevice. Crevasse. So thought I'd bring it back. Don't even know what it is. Got a few ideas. <laughs> Crazy. Prehistoric. It's a very unique looking creature. Don't touch Fiddle. She bites. Not too keen on being cooped up. You nearly took my elbow off. But if she got out, who knows what she might do? Pandemonium, I expect. Mm. Is the lock safe? Safe as houses, Fiddle. Paid top shilling for that beauty. <coughs> I'm going to do mm. the rest of the Has room. someone been trolling? Oh, God. And then I'm going to let that thing out. Lord Rochester has been asleep since 1882. A grisly and gnarled member. It's 1884. He should be awake after two years. Time to cause a flap. Yes. Fly, little creature, fly! Crikey! Fiddle! You buffoon! What have you done? Oh, I'm Come fun. back! Come back to me! Oh! Yes, here I am, right behind you, guy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's the spot. Hmm, yes. The infamous Jade Griffin. Lord Cragglewedge. First man to climb halfway up Mount Everest. It's quite an achievement. Okay, is there anything else? Sir Clive Odwing, the world-renowned ornithologist's private chamber. He's left his door ajar. Um... Ah, Sherlock's private room. No doubt where he works on his important cases. I want to enter this one first. Do you mind? Oh, uh, terribly sorry. The door was open and I... Uh, 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 hmm. uh, no. Ooh, down a bit, Sandra. Don't just stand there gawking, man. I'm sure it's nothing you haven't seen before. Okay, you know what? Uh, yes, I have seen it before. Probably. Pick those leaves up from a fellow in Indies. Strong stuff. Good for relaxing. Help yourself. Um, I'll be off then. Be a good fellow and shut the door on your way out. <clears throat> Anything else I should grab? Oh, it's like living in an avian paradise. Well... If we have a saying in Peru, two can play that game. Oh God! Uh, so this is an avian paradise. If your idea of an avian paradise is being trapped in a uh, being trapped in a uh, cage for the rest of your life, yeah, whatever. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go see Sherlock Holmes. Ha! I win again, Watson. You really are adult. I'm sorry, Holmes. I'm trying. It's just I don't really understand the rules of this game. All your games. Been there, been there, been there, been th Oh, that's new. Hmm, they must have added something then, because I'm a well ex explored explorer. I explored all the exploring, sp uh, whatever. Okay. Let's talk to him. Not that I want to. Ah, oh, fiddle. What brings you here? Come to bore us with more tales of one of your piffling adventures, have you? No, I'm on a mission to return this bag unto its rightful owner. And who is its rightful owner? That I have yet to ascertain. There are absolutely no clues whatsoever. Tata. Have you tried looking in the bag? Ah, I never thought of that.
Taunt him. Oh, a head. The oh. features have been sliced off expertly with a sharp instrument by someone with skill and panache. Aha, this looks like the work of London's most elusive serial killer, Jeff the Murderer. Ha! Good luck finding him, Fiddle. The whole of Scotland Yard hasn't been able to track him down in decades. I rather fancy my luck, Holmes. He can't be that far away. <laughs> you, Fiddle. You couldn't find your own tolly water in the toilet. Ha ha ha. I'll wager you wager you don't even come close. Ha <laughs> ha. If you can find Jeff the Murderer, I'll wear a woman's dress and dance the trifling gallop round the streets of Lambeth. I accept, good sir. Nice to see you, Bertram. Shush, Watson. But this... Yeah. Oh. Uh. That's not to be sniffed at. Oh. Go away, fiddle. But the... Shush, Watson. Maybe I could make something to calm Sherlock down. Ah. Your teacup is empty. Eh, what a brilliant detective you seem to be. Now make yourself useful and bring me another one. Of course. <laughs> oh my, that's a potent concoction. Shh, don't talk out loud. No, actually, what's that? That's quite an extensive collection of books <coughs> you have there. What are they about? They're mostly about me. Of course. You are kind of like the one in the book, in that you are pretty uh, self-centered. Try this one. It's a special blend. Give me that. Being the world's greatest crook thwarter is thirsty work. What, what, what is in this tea? I feel somewhat strange. What have you done? Is he dead? Don't worry, Watson. He's just sleeping. Oh, uh, I mean, good. Now, was there something you wanted to tell me? I know you'll think me silly for saying, but you need to ask the spirits for help. Spirits? I am a man of science. I don't believe in such puffery. No, Bertram. They exist. I have seen them. With mine own two eyes. Sherlock says it was a seagull. But I know it was the spirit of the recently departed. The spirit sometimes lingers on in this realm. Especially if it has been wronged. You should help her find peace by collecting the missing body parts. Try and find Count Falchmuckel. He's a gentleman with an acquired taste. But he does have certain connections. I'm sure he can help you on your quest. Hmm. Anything else here I could pick up? No. All right. Well, let's go. Okay. Anything else of interest? <clears throat> I got a head. I don't even have a notebook. Ooh, you've got cold hands. All right, that's just weird. Mm. Lord, who again? Who was it? <clears throat> Can I pick up that lock? Who's this guy? Lord Rochester has been asleep since 1882. A grisly and gnarled member. Hmm. And who are you again? Don't keep poking me, fiddle. Go and pester someone else. All right. Hmm. All the bottles are broken. Can I have some more tea? No. He's not going to give me any more tea. All right, well... Let's go. Have you found out anything yet? Well, madam, I spoke to Sherlock, but he's somewhat occupied right now. Typical. 
the conceited buffoon. However, I am able to inform you that I, Bertram Fiddle, am now on the case of Jeff the Murderer. And I shan't rest until I find him. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful news. Our readers will be delighted to hear about this. You can tell your readers not to fear. I can be quite sleuthful when I need to be. Here's my news blimp now. I must be off, Mr. Fiddle, but I'm sure I shall see you again. Good luck, Mr. Fiddle! That was strange. Mm. Yeah, right, whatever. Let's see what goes this way. Oh, I didn't know there'd be pigeons there. Hemlock Street? This must be Lord Arthwipe's abode. Extra! Extra! Bertram Fiddle on the hunt for Jeff the Murderer! Must you tell people everybody? Come on. Public less than confident! My! News travels fast around here. Would you say my nose looks big in this? Hmm. Pickles are good for you. Let's go talk to the Lord Ship uh, Ath, whatever his name is. Let's... Have you heard the news, Fiddle? There's been another murder right under our noses. They say he is the devil himself. Oh, terrible, isn't it? Terrible? Terrible? You do not know the meaning of the word, Fiddle. Now I, on the other hand, I have done some truly terrible things in my time. Fortunately, <laughs> I am so rich. I'm above the law. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, that's an interesting collection of etchings. Do I really want to Nice know? doggy. It's not a dog, you fool. It's a wolf beast. Okay. My double-headed cobra fiddle. <laughs> Twice as deadly as a normal one. Except it's dead. <gasps> Is that blood on your carpet? Yes, I, I cut myself. Shaving. Um, your legs? Because you have a perfectly big beard. Don't touch my saber! How about your booze? Tiger cordial fiddle. A most refreshing libation. Do you want some? It puts a spring in your step, fiddle. Makes you feel ten feet tall. I'm still worried about the blood. Um, yeah, no. I have a little Eden for you, fiddle. You may encounter a Lady Ravisham whilst traipsing around. She has in her possession some photographs that I would rather she did not. I need you to retrieve them for me. If you obtain them successfully, meet me in Lady Ravisham's secret garden, and I will reward you handsomely. But tell no one, Fiddle. No one. I have arranged for my coach to take you there. It is waiting outside. <laughs> um, okay. Still worried about that. <gasps> is that blood? On your carpet. Yes, I I cut myself, shaving. You have a beard. Oh, all right, whatever. <clears throat> ah, Mr. Fiddle, I've been waiting for you. Hurry up! I ain't got all day. I've just entered your coach. Giddy up! Third uh, entanglements. What a peculiar day this is turning out to be. I'm never going to find myself an adventure at this rate. There is no way a man of my caliber should have to work for Mr. Dullsworth. But at least this mission for Lord Arthwipe should see us well rewarded. I don't trust him. He has funny eyes. Lord Arthwipe? He's a very important and extremely well-connected gentleman. 
If we can impress him, I'm sure he will be able to provide us with some form of adventure. We must hunt down this Jeff the murderer, and fast. But the odds are stacked against us. He has eluded all attempts at capture so far, and taunts even the greatest detective minds. Imagine the look on Sherlock's face if we were to succeed where he has not. And your wife's dog, sir. And Foofy. I must get him back or Werther will be furious. We have a thing in Peru. An armadillo never gives up. You're right, Gavin. And neither shall we. Look, there he is now. Quick, stop the coach. Don't let him get away again, Gavin. There he is, behind bars, where he belongs. Um, how do I get there? Oh, how did he get through there? An ore next to a gate in an alley? <clears throat> Why, you could say it was an alley gate Ha! <laughs> uh. So, um... How did he get through there? Can I use the ore on the gate? They won't budge. Hmm. At your service. Destroy the gate! Quickly, Gavin, you curmudgeonly elf! We must follow him! Sir, I sense a disturbance in defense. little fellow. Where's he gone now? He's probably tripped over that person. Why is your <clears throat> nose so funny? What did you say? <laughs> Count Falchmuckle's residence. How may I help you? I am on the hunt for a fiendish villain who has the city in a grip of terror. May I come in? You can't come in. Master is out. He went out on one of his nocturnal perambulations last night, and I haven't seen him since. Oh, really? He's a funny one, to be honest, sir. Hates the light. And he has some strange requests. But he's always been good to me. Ah, I, I should probably be off now. Oh, yes. I'm afraid I've said too much. Good day, sir. And if you see the Count, tell him his breakfast is getting cold. Okay. Gracious me! Those are sizable undergarments. I sense I must grab them. I do hope no one sees this. Think of the scandal. Shut up. May as well leave that here. See you later, Alley Gate or Got them. Ooh, silky. Okay, that's a little weird. Uh, I actually want to read this, but... Uh... Excuse me, did you see a man run by? About this high, mean, squinty eyes, a menacing scowl. Indeed I did. He knocked me over and trod on my monocle. Oh bother, it's cracked. It's no use to me now. Here, let me help you up. It's broken. But it might just help. Now, I want to look at this. I don't know, let's keep on, keep on trucking. <clears throat> this is Lady Ravisham's house. She was known as the most beautiful lady in London, but no one has seen her for years. That's too heavy for me to lift. I'll put my back out. Mm. What are you doing with it? Hmm, it's a good start. These gangs of pigeons are getting bolder all the time. Shoo, shoo. What are they pecking at? It looks like somebody's. It's a mouth! One more piece of the puzzle. Yay! Ew. What a winning smile! 
Ew. I want to look at the the. Uh, all right. <clears throat> right. So let's get in here. Okay. This is really somewhat disturbing. Um. The lesser spotted glump. Is that a picture of her? Okay, so I could go upstairs. I could go over here. What a dreadful racket! I can't hear myself think! Interesting. The flames are uh, green. <laughs> 